The term multiphysics refers to using the results of one analysis type as a load or initial condition within a second, different analysis type. You can complete a number of different multiphysics workflows using Autodesk Simulation Mechanical. This video provides a brief introduction of these multiphysics capabilities. Our first example is the determination of thermal stress and fatigue life. The first phase of this workflow is to determine the temperature distribution throughout a model. The heat transfer analysis can be steady state or transient, and you can perform it either within Simulation Mechanical or Autodesk Simulation CFD. Next, apply the temperature results to a linear static, nonlinear static, or mechanical event simulation analysis. When you apply transient thermal results to a nonlinear structural analysis, you determine the stress results over a defined period of time, as heat flows through the structure and temperatures increase or decrease. You can also choose a specific time step where the temperature gradients are maximal and determine the static stress at this instant in time using a linear analysis. Use the results of a linear or nonlinear stress analysis to perform a fatigue life analysis. This command launches the fatigue wizard program included with Simulation Mechanical. Use this wizard to set up and perform fatigue life calculations. When completed, view the fatigue results within the Simulation Mechanical results environment. You can also preview these results within Fatigue Wizard. This next example is a three-part multiphysics analysis in which we run an electrostatic current and voltage analysis as the first design scenario to determine the current running through the circuit breaker. The second design scenario is a transient heat transfer analysis. Determine the joule heating effect by using the electrostatic current results from design scenario 1 to control internal heat generation in the applicable parts. The third and final design scenario is a mechanical event simulation in which the temperatures from the second scenario cause the bimetallic strip to deform due to the differing coefficients of thermal expansion. When the strip has deformed sufficiently, the circuit breaker is tripped, disconnecting the flow of power. Our next multiphysics example is commonly used in the analysis of microelectromechanical systems or MEMS devices. First, run an electrostatic field strength and voltage analysis using the option to output electrostatic forces at the appropriate model surfaces. In the second design scenario, apply the electrostatic forces from the prior scenario as a structural load in a linear or nonlinear structural analysis. Use this workflow to determine the displacement of MEMS devices for various applied voltages. Our final multiphysics example involves fluid structural interaction, or FSI. For this workflow, fluid flow results from Autodesk Simulation CFD are required. Apply fluid boundary reactions from Simulation CFD to a linear or nonlinear structural analysis of the same model in Simulation Mechanical. Use this workflow to determine stresses and deflections due to wind loads and other internal or external fluid reaction loads.